This is with me and we were all we'll change at Bournemouth yesterday. Tonight we're going to focus on Reading and they've had a really torrid time of it, haven't they? They have, yeah. Just today the, the women's manager Kelly Chambers has left after 16 years with the club. There's loads of uncertainty around the men's team following points deductions for breaking financial rules, relegation to League One and now charges for failing to pay the team's players. Concern is growing among Reading football fans about the club's future. A letter, letter issued last week attempted to reassure supporters about the commitment of club owner Dai Yunge, but with no manager in place and the new season just over six weeks away now, it's done little to appease fans' worries. I've been a Reading supporter since 1999. I'd sit and watch Grandstand on a Saturday afternoon and think, that name looks familiar, that's where I live. I first started watching Reading in 1958. I came to my first game in 1977. Um, I love this club. Do you have much faith in, in the, the current ownership group? I have supported him for so long, thinking he's going to do the right thing, give him a chance, do what he needs to do. It's got to a point now, I don't want him anymore. I don't want him in the club, I don't want to see his face, I don't want to see anything. I want him out, I want him gone, I want someone else to come in. I think the issue that we've got is that since Sir John Radeski sold up, we've been thoroughly mismanaged by a procession of owners who seem to have just come in and then when things haven't quite worked out, they've just moved on. It's the core of this, communication. There's been no communication at all as far as I'm concerned. That letter last week was not written by him, I don't think. It was a PR exercise and it didn't really mean anything. A lot of words that didn't actually say anything. I think any one of the fans could have written that statement. And your message to your club's owners? I want my family club back. And he needs to either sell or do something spectacular to get us out of this mess. <laughs> you look at it and you go, you should be upset about it. But now you start laughing because it's become that much of a joke. You just go, yeah, it's another day. Most clubs will be uproar upset, but we're just so used to it at this point. And it's getting ridiculous. A lot of money has been put into mm -hmm. the club, hasn't it? But yep. where, where did that relationship break down? Point deductions communication. They've not told us what's going on. It's, it's, there seems to be that the owner or whoever it is in charge has told people not to talk. We asked the club and we put those points to them. We, we're yet to hear back from them in response to that. What are your concerns about the, the future for your club? But the club will go out of business. Simple as that. That's the worst thing that could happen. I think the future lies in somebody coming in and buying the club with the finances to put us back it's like a family to me, it, it really is. And sort of like having sort of like gone through the loss of both my parents, you know, with that family, you know, it's, 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 it's been nice to know that I've had that support there, that I've got people here that I can come and I can talk to. I mean, I know people that have worked for this club for an excess of sort of 25 years. They deserve better. So this is your chance then, Mark. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say to your club's owners? Talking is cheap. We need to see action. And we're not even seeing that. I fear that my children won't know who Reading are. My mother took me to Reading and I want to take my children to it and I want my children to take their children to it. And at this point with this owner, I don't see that happening. Very sad this should happen to my club and it's our club, not theirs. Yeah, the thoughts there of a group of Reading fans. Worth noting that I've made repeated attempts to contact the club for a response on the subjects raised, but they've so far declined to comment. Moving on to cricket, Sussex, Surrey,